Okay, when you think of the word dilution, like let's picture you just made some lemonade using the powder stuff, not real lemons. Um, you make some lemonade and it's way too sweet, you put too much powder, you want to dilute it. Um, ask yourself, what would you do? Hopefully most of you say you would add water. Um, when we dilute something, we add water to it and think back to that lemonade again, it makes it, there's, it makes it less sweet, less concentrated, right? It would actually get a little paler in color. Um, dilutions are when we add water and we decrease the concentration. Concentration meaning molarity. So if we're diluting an acid, for instance, um, the concentration, the thing we'd have less of, well, what makes an acid an acid? That H plus. So if we are decreasing an acid, sorry, if we are diluting an acid, we're adding water, we are decreasing the concentration of H plus, that's going to give us a higher pH, a pH closer to 7, closer to neutral. If we are diluting a base, we are decreasing the OH minus concentration, which means actually a lower pH, but also one that is close to neutral. So on the pH scale 0 to 14, neutrals in the middle. As we dilute, bases come closer to seven, acids come closer to seven. You can dilute and make it less and less and less concentrated in terms of their H plus and OH minus. Um, theoretically though, you'll never actually get to neutral. Um, you'll, if you still have any more H plus than OH minus, um, it's gonna be acidic. So we get closer and closer to seven, regardless of where we start. Um, for dilution problems, um, I use a formula uh, that's M1, V1, M2, V2. Um, we use this formula at the beginning of the year, actually. Uh, but I want to clarify what these things mean. So M's, both of the M's are molarity. For acids, if we're diluting an acid, the molarity has to be the molarity of H plus. For bases, if we are diluting a base, the molarity that we plug in has to be of OH minus. When you go and you do the tri problems and you get the first dilution of a base one wrong, it's because you didn't believe me, you didn't trust me, it has to, has to, has to be OH for bases. Um, now, the one versus the two, the left side versus the right side, um, Think of one side as before we dilute, before we added water, and the other side as after diluting, after adding water. The V's are volume. Uh, it doesn't matter if you use milliliters or liters, as long as it's the same on both sides. Um, but the V's are volume, again, as long as the units match, milliliter, milliliter, liter, liter, you're okay. Um, the volume before diluting is just going to be of the acid or the base. It's never going to be the water by itself, we're not diluting water. The volume after we've diluted it, well, we have whatever acid or base we're diluting, plus and the water. That's the total volume. It's the acid or the base plus the water. You should never have a volume that is just water. Um, keep that in mind. All right, here we're finding a pH if water is being added to a pH 4.5 solution. Since all I'm doing is adding water, I know it's a dilution. I can use M1V1, M2V2. Now my molarity depends, am I working with an acid or a base? pH less than seven, I'm working with an acid, so my molarities that I'm gonna use need to be the molarity of H plus. Um, before I dilute it, right, once I've added water, it's diluted, that's this side. Before I dilute it, it has a pH of 4.5, 
So 10 to the negative pH will be how I find my H plus. 10 to the negative 4.5 gets me 3.16 times 10 to the negative 5. That'll be my M1. And I have 750 milliliters of it. Then I go ahead and add some water. I don't know its molarity now. But my volume after diluting is going to be not just the 500 of water, but the 750 that I started with plus the 500 of water. So if ever the volumes on these problems are confusing, I recommend drawing a picture. It's just a cup. And let's say I have, okay, I have 750 mils of my pH 4.5. That's before diluting. After diluting, well, it, I had 750 mils, then I pour 500 of water in. How much is this level going to go up? It's going to go up by 500, getting me 1250. Um, and I can solve for M2. So 3.16 times 10 negative 5 times 750 divided by 1250. That gets me an M2 of 1.9 times 10 to negative 5 which again is my H plus concentration. What do they want from me? pH. pH I can find by taking negative log of an H plus concentration. If this were a base, my molarities would have been of OH, and when I negative logged, I'd get pOH and still have to subtract from 14. Um, but I don't have a base here. So I negative log that answer, and I get a pH of 4.72. And we should be able to ask ourselves, does this answer make sense? When I dilute something, its pH should get closer to 7 than it was. Started at 4.5. Have we gotten closer to 7? Yes. It's still an acid. You're not going to ever turn an acid into a base just by adding water. It's still an acid, but it's closer to neutral because now we have more water in there diluting it. 